Rally Raid continues into 2020 with the Andalusia Rally. 243 kilometers make this the second longest stage of the rally as it uses some of the previous day's mileage. Bad luck befell world champion Sam Sunderland after a crash left him battered and bruised. The former Dakar winner will be back another day. Early morning rides can still catch people out. Spain's Juan Barreda a little bit further than off piste. Aussie Toby Price saw that some were taking too many risks today, so didn't go as quick as he could have done. But starting behind many, the Aussie made good progress to be fifth on the stage with his KTM. Kevin Benavidez was distracted yesterday after his brother Luciano crashed out of the rally. But the Argentine has continued to fly on his factory Honda but he had a big off before the refueling halfway through, taking a big cut to his arm. And even after a two minute penalty, he still leads overall in Andalusia. Third was Adrian Van Beveren's Yamaha, serving him well as he was consistent over a stage that changed from tracks to fields to riverbeds. He was focused and didn't risk anything. Even stopping to check things were good before getting back on track. Leading Spaniard was Lorenzo Santolino with the Sherco. He says he's riding comfortably and felt at one with the roadbook, even anticipating the route. He's loving being back in the heat of competition, but he's another who's got that little voice in the back of his head thinking towards Dakar. Ross Branch said he played it cool after yesterday, mindful to be sharp on navigation. But even then, he had a great run to win with his Yamaha. Top of the pile, first on the stage, he's now fifth overall. I really enjoyed myself, you know, I went out this morning and tried to slow down a little bit from yesterday and uh, just make sure that I've got all the points, you know, the navigation is so tight here, you can't miss a corner, otherwise you miss a waypoint, so it was really important just to focus on that and uh, go back to basics and have fun, you know, when you're having fun on your bike, I think that's the best, uh, best for the best results, so I had a really good time today, I enjoyed it. So now overall, with Branch going so well, he's gone up to fourth, but still leading is Benavidez even after that two minute penalty. Kamel Winewski is flying the flag very high for Poland at the top of the quad class with Thomas Kubinia from the Czech Republic chasing hard a mere 12 seconds behind overall. The quads will be close. Making it a Yamaha Raptor 1-2-3 was Frenchman Roman Dutu. Mathieu Serradori's SRT buggy was super consistent today as he hauled it through the narrow roads. His advantage, lots of torque and less weight than the four-wheel drives, but the rear-wheel drive car is more suited to the Desert Dunes. The amiable Frenchman is fifth overall. The king of Spanish motorsport, Carlos Sainz, has driven literally millions of kilometers in rallying, but still hustled his mini buggy through the tight roads. Of course, he'd like the stages to be even tougher, but the overnight changes he made gives him third overall. Bernard Tenbrinker started off racing on the circuits. Tarmac and wheel-to-wheel -wheel dices cannot be further away from rally raids, but he's holding his own amongst world champions. Third on the stage, fourth overall, is a fantastic result for the Flying Dutchman. Yazid Al Raji found the stage tight, slippery and treacherous, but the Saudi scorched the Spanish earth. Second on the stage and second overall by just 23 seconds. He can win this with just two days to go.
NASA Alatea and the Toyota Gazoo Racing Hilux was flat out to the max and then some today as he used every single part of Spain to get the edge. Even a rear right puncture couldn't slow him down towards the end of the stage and he now leads overall. Can he win this against Al Raji? In a rally measured in hours, it's going to come down to just seconds. It was not easy uh, road because uh, it's very narrow and uh, we try to to be in uh, in the safe side, you know. And uh, okay, I'm quite happy, you know, to to come back, you know, and to win and to to leading uh, the Andalusia rally, you know. Uh. Look how close it is between the Qatari and the Saudi, just 23 seconds between them. Aaron Domzala has blitzed the T4 class as he mixes it in with the big cars. Teammate Gerard Fares is only three minutes back, but the third of the trio, Austin Jones, has won the stage today. Mitch Guthrie is heading a Red Bull Off-Road Junior Team 1-2 in the T3 class. Swede Kevin Hansen is in his first rally raid, but immediately on the pace, second in class. Akira Mura continues to head the T2 class for more standard cars without major modifications. His Toyota running perfectly over the rugged terrain. With two more days to go, it's still anyone's rally in Andalusia.